Hey, what's going on guys? Today I thought I'd take a second to just talk about what you can do when your battery charger is giving you a crazy error code that it doesn't recognize the battery that it's attached to and what you can do as a workaround. Let's get to it. Now this type of thing might happen with something like your lawn tractor where you have a 12 volt battery inside, you park it in the garage or in the shed and you maybe bump the light switch on it and that light stays on for a full week without your knowledge. The battery actually probably dies after a day or two but with that switch open it just keeps kind of draining that battery ever so slightly even though the light's not actually working at that point. You might come back to it a week later and find that your voltage on your battery if you were to use a multimeter uh, like something like this would read maybe nine or or eight and a fully charged 12 volt battery should be about 12.6 so if you're at nine and a dead one is about 10.5 so if you're at nine you're definitely in bad uh, bad straits now the downside with being that low and why your battery charger won't recognize your battery is that it has safety features built in when you hook up the cables uh, the leads from your battery charger to the battery itself the charger itself is trying to say before I pump out current I need to know that I'm attached to the appropriate thing. I need to be attached to a 12 volt battery. And basically the settings inside of your charger, it'll vary depending on the brand, will say that for a 12 volt battery, I need a minimum charge of at least 9.5 or 9.75 before I say, okay, this is a battery and I'm connected to the right terminals. I don't have a reverse polarity there. And then it will start pumping out current. If it doesn't read those things, then you're not gonna get a charge. So what can we do about this? I hope it's not your car battery that is having an issue because you actually do need a car that starts and runs. And what we're going to need is a set of jumper cables in about mm, five minutes of time or less. So what you'll want to do is start your vehicle and then hook up the jumper cables in the appropriate order. And if you need a reminder of that, basically you put the red uh, cable on the positive terminal of the bad battery, the other red cable to the positive terminal of the good battery, then the negative or the black cable to the negative terminal of the good battery, and then the other negative or black cable to the negative of the bad battery. From there, you just give it a few minutes for your good vehicle to pump in some current into your bad battery. And this doesn't have to take long. Basically, we're just putting a surface charge on the battery. We don't wanna charge your battery this way. We just wanna give it a surface charge. I did this exact same thing with my neighbor's battery. They had a lawn tractor whose battery died the exact same way that I mentioned before. And I let it run for about three or four minutes and that put enough of a surface charge on it to where I then disconnected the jumper cables in the opposite order that we hooked them up. And then I immediately hooked up the battery charger to the bad battery. And the battery charger was then able to recognize, hey, this is a 12 volt battery, I'm hooked up appropriately. And it started putting in current. That battery has lasted at least the last two years that I know of. Now obviously there's some caveats to this, the first one being that you do need a vehicle with a good battery. So if your vehicle is the only one on site and it's your vehicle that's affected, your vehicle's battery, you're kind of SOL for the time being. The second thing is that this is not going to work on a battery that has been dead for a long time. Lead acid batteries, they sulfate on the inside. They get lead sulfate, which is this crystal-like substance that coats the lead plates on the inside and that will inhibit a current from going through and it will inhibit current from going out. So the battery can't receive a charge and it can't give off a charge. In that case, your battery is toast and you just need a new one. This is more for the battery that was working last week or last month and it hasn't been sitting in a, a zero state of charge for too long to where it's done irreparable damage. It's just, it just needs a, a kickstart. But keep in mind that if your uh, battery has been in that state, you have done irreversible damage to your battery. You have shortened the lifespan, but more than likely you might still be able to get a couple years of service out of it if it's a relatively new battery by doing this. All right guys, I hope this quick tip or trick helps you out. If it did, I would appreciate a like on this video and it'll just help the YouTube algorithm and have a great day. I appreciate it. Take care guys.